Southern California Edison insists it is ready for a very busy fire season. And tonight we have details of the utilities fire prevention plans. Welcome back to KCAL 9 News at 9 and we're streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Pat Harvey and I'm Juan Fernandez. Science will play a key role in managing another busy California fire season. Well, tonight some perspective from the SoCal Edison's chief meteorologist. KCAL 9's Nicole Comstock joins us live from Santa Clarita with more information. Nicole. Well, it has been very dry here since December and conditions are only expected to get worse. But SoCal Edison says it's doing more this year to prevent fires and power outages. The sun is beating down on the Southland this week and the record breaking warm days and breezy Santa Ana winds are giving us a glimpse of what Mother Nature has in store for us this fire season. The bad news here is that because we haven't had a lot of precipitation since really the beginning of January, things have really dried out. Tom Rolinski is a fire scientist with SoCal Edison. He's leading the effort to more accurately predict the threat of wildfires in the utility's highest risk fire areas. We're doing all this modeling. We're modeling the atmosphere. We're modeling fuel conditions. Plus, we've got, you know, over a thousand weather stations. We've got over 100 uh, uh, high definition cameras. All the technology is also helping them reduce the amount of homes to experience the dreaded public safety power shutoffs. If we need to de-energize a circuit, um, we may only have to de-energize part of a circuit. That actually looks, sounds kind of cool. Anthony's eager to see if it works better for his Santa Clarita Valley neighborhood. He says last year his home went dark four or five times during Santa Ana wind events. How frustrating is that? Irritating as hell. And it never made sense to him that his power stayed out for several days, while other neighbors in the same high-risk area never went to black. Now, I've asked that to uh, the people that work on the power lines, and they're just like, oh, that's how the grid is. I was just like, hmm. Edison has focused a lot of resources on covering overhead conductors to reduce the risk of wildfires. And Tom says this year, it's shaping up to be a bad wildfire season. If a fire starts in you know, a particular part of our service area, we can see where it's going to spread, how quickly it's going to spread, um, how intense it will be, and, and what the impact will be to those particular communities. And this early in the spring, they say they can't tell us just yet where the worst areas could be come summer. Reporting live in Santa Clarita, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.